Darmstadt lies, just to give you a bit of context, um, in the middle of Germany, just south of Frankfurt, as part of a very dynamic developing um, urban agglomeration, the Rhine-Main area. That is important because a lot of people are moving into this area and we need to provide a lot of housing and a lot of new schools. And I think this is a lot of challenges in urban development that we share with you guys in, in Moscow, even though it's a totally different scale of city, um, which is that, for example, the mobility system has a big impact on our quality of life and on our well-being. And we as urban designers, we want to build neighborhoods that are very walkable, that are very compact, and we do this through diverse uh, usage and through a certain sense of density in our neighborhood planning. So walkability and um, well-being is closely related to each other, and we have some answers and we uh, research that with urban planning. Um, of course, urban, urban development and urbanization has an impact on our mental health. So future generations of urban planners and our generation indeed has to work on concepts that actually make us have a better quality of life and help our mental well-being. And of course, green spaces are a big part of this. And we developed this is an app, and a mobile application app, um, to assess the school. We send it to the school and ask them what is going on. So there, we had 74 students uh, doing this with us from the first to the fourth grade. The school has about 160 in total. And what we did is we gave them this game. I don't know if you know the game I spy with my little eye where you describe what you're seeing. And we gave them this application and they had a set of rules. So they just had to log in, walk around the schoolyard or the school and they could go into any room and um, choose places that were interesting for them and then rate them or assess them with different factors. And at the end they would just come back and talk to us about what they had experienced. In a second step, after they chose what the space is, they described the space. So we tried to do it as simple as possible because we had, of course, first graders and we used the stickers, just little images for them to know what they're describing. And the last step, after they are very well informed about their school, they talked about this with um, their classmates, then they sit down and think about what could be different. What could we do? How, what can we implement the school to be more interesting for us or could, to accommodate our needs? So this is what we get out of this. As researchers, we have a picture of how the students use the school, where they move, where they don't like to stay. And from that, we set out to have like a profile of the different spaces. So how multifunctional are these spaces? What could you use them for? Are they living up to their potential or is there anything that maybe the school could move or change for this space to be more suitable for a certain type of activity? But it really has a very practical implications in our case because we're working together with the city. So the report that we get out of this is not only useful for the school itself, but the city is asking him, uh, itself, how can I um, deal with a school that needs more space, what am I going to do with this school? So with this information they can set out a draft for the next um, competition, architectural competition, um, and this goes into how the school will be planned in the next two years.